so uh, we have made a operator precedence parser in uh, python language so that takes an input uh, uh, from file and convert them into lexemes by using lexical analysis so i will be covering uh, the part of lexical analysis which include uh, tokenization and uh, symbol table management we it will take the input uh, from the file and uh, grammar from the file another file and then it will generate uh, lexemes and tokens as shown here in this slide and then those tokens will have attributes like these so numbers have uh, different attributes and reserved words uh, have different attributes identifiers have different attributes so we will see when uh, we will uh, uh, run that file so these all information will be saved in the symbol table uh, we will put the scope of the uh, scope and the data type of the uh, identifier and the uh, uh, symbol of the uh, identifier uh, in this uh, symbol table so here is my files let's run this file python so this is a user interface now we can include the input file from here which, uh, which has the input so this is the input file and the grammar file wait a minute input file input file and Input file, the grammar file, and the table file. Okay, when we submit it, so we can see all the things here. Uh, it is these are the parse strings. Uh, these are the inputs, and it shows that they are accepted or rejected yeah, strings. Yeah. So this is a simple table. So we don't have any identifiers in the input. So there is no identifier shown here. And these are the uh, lexemes yeah, yeah. and tokens that are generated. Uh, these are numbers and these are uh, operators. Yeah, yeah. So we can run the another file here, which will fill our simple table. So input grammar file and it's stable so when we run this file we can see that these are the input which contain identifiers and operators and uh, this shows that which strings are accepted or rejected as success and error message so this string is rejected because uh, there is no operator in between identifier so this is the identifying symbol and the type is string and the scope is global these are the lexemes uh, identifier and relations or we can say operators and these all are the operators which are used code of the file so this is the code and i will be explaining uh, only the tokenization part and symbol table part the here the functions are called so this is the tokenization this is its frame that is all gui and here we have the here we have the operators and identifiers which are empty which will be in the input so input file is with here and it is inserted uh, into the frame and then we are checking for the operators and end of file and reserve words that are in our table 
and if they are numeric or not if it is a numeric data then i have shown you that uh, numeric data will be passed and the output will be shown and if there is only identifier so it will uh, uh, use this uh, identify the uh, identify i and it will append it in the identifier so after that the identifier will be given to simple table and the simple table will show these identifiers this uh, all is the uh, gui and then the identifiers will be shown with their uh, <clears throat> type and uh, uh, scope so that is global and scope and uh, the symbol of the identifier which will be shown for hello everyone i have been assigned the task of making syntax analyzer so in syntax analyzer at first we are getting the input and we are converting it to the list appending the dollar symbol at the end then we are opening the grammar file and one by one each row of grammar file is appending is being appending to the master list and then we are making the key value pairs assigning the non terminals are left hand side to the right hand side and in key value pair we are removing the arrow symbol and then we are opening the uh, uh, the table file and in table file we are appending the order table each row of the of the table and then operators list in which the first row of the order table is being assigned the order table first row is this one and then we are uh, looping over vlag until vlag is zero so vlag uh, initially is one if the input index first symbol is dollar and length of stack is two then we are assigning the VLO vlag equal to zero and length equal to length of input index after that buffer index contains the first element from the input temp1 contains the index of the operators list from the buffer and then if the if the top of the sim stack is non terminal we are assigning the buffer stack to that second topmost symbol else buffer buffer stack contains the topmost symbol in temp2 operator dot index uh, so check the index of buffer stack and assign to the temp2 and precedence is being assigned from the order table temp2 rows and temp1 column if precedence is less than then we are shifting means pushing if precedence is greater than it means we are reducing if action equal to shift then here the parse tree is being generated and input is accepted or rejected according to the parse tree if action is equal to shift then we are appending the buffer input and removing the input from the buffer input and if the action is reducing we are making the we are looping on the key value pairs from the master items which we created from the grammar files in var1 variable we are just joining the topmost from the topmost symbol to the end of the symbol and in var2 we are joining from the third topmost symbol to the to, to the end and if in, in if conditions we are checking all the conditions if the key is equal to the buffer stack we are assigning the topmost symbol value if the key is equal to var1 and from the topmost third symbol is equal to equal to var1 then we are assigning the value to the uh, stack minus 3 to the all and in the last condition is if key equal to var2 then we are assigning the then we are assigning the stack from minus 3 index to the all the value and then we are deleting the all the symbols if we lag equal to zero after the loop we are written accepted otherwise it will be rejected i have also designed the gui of the of this uh, uh, program in gui we are we let me run this so at first in gui we are getting the input file then we are getting the grammar file and then we are getting the table file and when we click submit all the frames are appeared onto the screens according to the and according to each of the functions so we are creating buttons and on submit buttons we go to the show output method the show output methods make single frame uh, put the list box onto the frame and open the input file pass one by one uh, rows to the parser parser returns accepted or rejected if exception comes it means it is rejected and we insert the row uh, in front of each string whether it is accepted or rejected in 
each function we created the same frame and making the list box and assigning the value assign uh, inserting the rows into the list semantic box. analyze what is semantic analyze the semantics of a language provide meaning to its constructs like token and syntax structure symbol has systematic semantic help interpreter symbol their types and their relation with each other semantic analyze judge whether the string structure constructed in the source program drives any meaning or not so this is a semantic analyze so first of all see there's is our grammar and this is our semantics rules so if i give so see if, if i give this string to our operator preset parser it will give the wrong answer is the with the give error because if 2 plus i give to our computer any computer it will give the error because it don't know the what is e the value so it will give the error and our operator preset parser is don't know about that so if we give this string it will perform an action on it and give the answer because if because in this we given the string a string everything is clear one multiply two plus three because operator pressure parser know about the every alphabet or every numeric value na? what is and what is multiply what is two what is plus what is three so this is our semantic analyze so this is our semantic analyze tree and this is the semantic analyze output of our programs so we here see that I gave him a an input grammar and file. So if I give this i multiply i plus one, it parser string as a okay is the right, but semantic analyze is properly wrong because this string don't give it any meaning. To perform any action so we give another string and then see the what is the output and this is the input and this is the grammar and this is the operator if we submit this we see that parser string 1 multiplied 2 plus 3 this is the accepted and semantic analyze it gives the output of this program because this is correctly correct so this is a semantic analyze so now if we see the code of these programs semantic analyze this is the all code about uh, this all code about interface our programs and uh, let's see here we read the file input reading the file and saving the row and the try catch and try we read check every row if given its row in in row is numeric value or any other value is if numeric value then it give to it give to the our method post and fix result other of if this is not the numeric value then it will escape the value if is equal to false then continue it will escape the value and post fix result if the numeric and give the value to post fix and fix result so what is post fix result post fix result is the method where we use the this for the sample or syntax directed translation in semantic transit translation we convert our string in fix to post fix so we create a uh, post fix in fix to post fix our value we convert all infix to postfix then here we are here we are converting this on does this is not our part but does the main our part is this what is the result of given if numeric value in po stills po push the value is the numeric otherwise if come the coi any operator then his what is the what he will do the pop to value and perform that operation and 
written the a result. Code generation is the final phase of the compilation. The code generated by the compiler is in object code, which is called machine code. Machine code shown here in the binary. In the first statement, machine code is for the input string plus i i. Uh, how this machine code is being generated? Let's see the code. The function code generation here. This is for the interface. Now the dot join method, which is the method of the Python, which converts ASCII into the machine code. But it represents, or uh, it shows only the most significant bits of the each ASCII character. Left-sided zeros are trimmed by default through dot join method in the Python. Now the mathematical expression. Here the mathematical expression generation. The function is operator code generation. This is for the interface. Now the replace method, which is uh, which is uh, basically uh, converting the steric sign into the x or the multiply sign, and this replace method, which is converting the slash the, uh, slash sign into the divide sign uh, basically in our keyboards the uh, divide sign is not present so we have so with the help of uh, unicode it is being converted here i am showing you the interface This string is converted. This plus i i string is converted into the machine code, or we can give it another string. Um, Here you can see I have given the string which is the i plus i into i slash i which is uh, accepted string or the past string. Here its uh, machine code is generated. and its mathematical ex expression which we wrote in the form i plus i steric i uh, slash i which is converted into the i plus i uh, multiply sign i divide i that's all